Retiro, Monte Rie, Colombia. Anwar, El Travieso Salas. Salas. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He stands with the set trainer, Kale Sorum. He wears the white with black and gold trim. This southpaw scaled at already 57.8 kilos. His professional record, a perfect one. 13 fights, 13 victories, five of them coming by way of knockout. Originally from Bohol in the Philippines, and now living and fighting out of Grand Norway, La Maquina, Bernard Angelo Torres. Torres. Valer, Anwar, recordad lo que os he dicho en el vestuario. Remember what I say you in the dressing room, okay? Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands. Good luck, guys. <clears throat> Salvador Sala, Salvador with the final instructions then, and we are ready for our show in Barcelona to get on the road. What? It's featherweights, it's eight rounds, it's, it's Bernard Torres putting his unbeaten record Jacket. on the line, taking the next step on his journey against the very seasoned Anwar Salas Jacket, of Colombia. Box. Underway then with Torres in the white, Salas in the blue. Torres boxing out of that southpaw stance. You, know, you heard the ring introduction there, originally out of Colombia, but based in Norway. But uh, having most of his fights out of Spain. His 14th fight, and 10 of them have come in this part of the world. Must be something about the weather. Well, there's worse places to be, let's be honest. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, we'll see the feet coming together, as always. Whenever Southpaw and Orthodox come together, the referee will have to have his eyes very uh, closely on that because you do oh. see slips and stumbles because when the feet come together. Not sure if that was the feet coming together or not. No, look like a nice shot, Chris, shot there. Yeah, as we were saying earlier, Alex, he's no mug, this Salas, but you know you do feel he's he, he's settled into that gate, gatekeeper role. He's not won in his last six. All six of those opponents have been, you know, either very very yeah. classy like Estrada or unbeaten prospects. But oh. uh, you know, it, it takes something a little bit special to actually stop this fella. Oh, oh good oh, shot! Oh, oh. that Just really was a beauty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, hang on. Cuatro. He'd made quite a positive Cinco. start as yes. well, Salas. He looked pretty sharp, and he was Siete. getting his shots off. Ocho. Oh, he's in. He's in. Uh, yeah, it looks Box. looks like he's got his legs under him, or has he? Yeah, it took, took a while to get up there, but that shows the experience, I think. Didn't rush it, but yeah, it was a beauty there. And I was just saying, it takes something a bit special to stop this fella. And then, boom, Torres came up with something very special. Yeah, it was a lovely shot. Really well picked as well. He caught him right on the end of that shot. Normally, it takes you a little bit of time to land shots like that. You need to find your distance, especially against someone as experienced not, as Salas. He's, he's not, not liking yeah. this at Depend all, Salas. It really isn't. These left hands have really buzzed him. Yep, and as Salas tried to open up there, he was caught again by an incoming shot. He wants to get himself off those ropes, Nick. Doesn't want to be hanging around there. Well, he's felt the power of that Torres shot. No question about that. He was certainly stung by those left hands then. Yeah. His legs don't look quite right. The no. balance is not there at the moment at all. He walked in a little right hook there on the counter as well as he, as he pushed forward. Still appears to be a little bit shaky. Yeah, and, and when he does land that right, that, that, that left, Torres, he definitely feels it sinks the right hook into the body as well. Yep. So Salas is just starting to warm up now. I think he got caught cold, as, as does happen, and comes back with a little right hand of his own. Ten seconds. Well, he's been really patient here, Torres. I thought he would have tried to jump on Salas a little bit more. After that knockdown. Well, at first I thought, I must admit, I thought, Salas, hang on, he's really struggling here. Then I realized, oh, no, 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 he's being smart. He's, he's taking all the time he can and jumped up at eight. Yeah. And yeah. managed to ride it out. But I was just wondering if uh, Bernard Torres was going to do something extraordinary here and get this fella out of there in a round. Didn't quite work out that way, but nevertheless, a near perfect start. Fint at du råder ned igjen. Ikke sant? Det har vi snakket om. Det går ikke for lenge. 
Well, you can even say that Salah started a little bit quicker than Torres. And looked like he was settling in a little bit faster. Fortsatt å blokke huken hans. Huken kommer, blokke. Sånn. Ligger fint der. Veldig bra. Ok. Matfis, Matfis. Ok. Vi blir med seg bakom. Box! Segundo Asanto. Round two, the number eight rounder. The bright start for Bernard Torres. Putting Anwar Salas on the floor, but not keeping him there. The Colombian got up. But he was shaken after that as uh, Torres launched another assault. And a couple of left hands definitely wobbled him. The legs were a little bit unsteady, but has he uh, seen the worst of it out here? Nice little left that. hook there. Yeah, really picked a beauty there. That's a back one. Well, he still seems to be getting them off okay. When he's punching for sort of middle distance, he seems to be quite effective. Lost his way a little bit there. Contemplate throwing a right hook and had to take a roll and reset himself. But he's uh, he's maybe not quite recovered, Nick, you know, from that from that knockdown still. Just using all his experience just to work yeah. his way into it, isn't he? It's just... I think he really was surprised as much as anything. He's caught one absolutely flush. He done pretty well to get up from it as well. Well, I, yeah, like I say, when I saw him there, I thought, hello, he's not even going to beat the count here. Yep. No, he did. He, he managed it very, very well. Yeah, and this second round hasn't really caught fire at all has it Not Torres really. has just been uh, coming forward without doing an awful lot of work and uh, yeah maybe a little bit too patient mm. you know clearly not been told by his corner to go out and let his hands go quite yet maybe they still think Salas has got a little bit left well he did manage to get that left I tell you when that left hand lands he doesn't like it the Colombian he really doesn't he feels it Left hook there. Solid as well. Yeah. There's that jolting oh. left hand again from Torres. It's a good shot. Yeah, and it gets that reaction. Oh, there he goes again. A... It's the left again. Wow. I mean, Two. he really can't handle it. Three. Yeah. He was softened Four. up, then put over. And I Five. wonder if he's going to get up from Six. this. Seven. I mean, this is just eight. about up at eight, but he looks ragged. And Salva. I don't like Yeah, Salvador Salva, I think, has done absolutely the right thing there. Softened him up. Well, you know something? Coming off that last win against Costin Eon back in December. He didn't look very impressive. He no. needed a good showing tonight. And boy, did he put one on. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. He looked destructive there. Very powerful as well. You know, you don't see that that often in the smaller men. No. You know, that, that kind of one-punch power. Like we said earlier, Salas, is no pushover. He's not a chump. No, he really not. isn't. He definitely isn't. It's a good win for Torres there. It's a yeah. powerful left hand over yeah. the top. You know, when you think, you know, four years ago, Estrada took five rounds to get rid of him. You know, he had a, he had a loss to Luis Concepcion, the Panamanian, eight years ago. He's the interim WBA flyweight champion now. It's good, world-class guys yep. that stopped this fella. And now Torres has done him in two. Bueno, bueno, bueno. I mean, he'll look at that and say, well, that's my best, that's my best career performance, no question. And I wonder if yeah. he, yeah. seven yeah. defeats in a row, <laughs> is, is starting to have a look and say, well... I wonder where I go from here. Yeah, because he's, he's got one that one. Well, he's, he's been losing to yeah. prospects, but he's not he's not lost like that. TKO or KO? KO. 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 Yeah, that's taken something out of him psychologically. You, you, you can just tell as much as the, the, the physical side of things. I think this one has really, you know... <sighs> I think he probably came in thinking, well, I'll give this guy a, a, a good working over uh, over eight rounds. Maybe I don't get the decision, but he did not come in thinking I'm going to bang that in two. Referee Salvador Salva calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 33 seconds of round number two. Your winner by knockout. He's still undefeated. La Machina. 
Bernard Angelo Torres. Well, that was quicker than expected. I'd set myself down there for an eight-round decision and uh, that one going to the cards, Alex. I don't know about you, but uh, Bernard, uh, Bernard Torres had other ideas. Well, yeah, it was a really, really impressive performance, to be really honest, Nick. There he...